Hi everyone, it's Anya, and I want to tell you more about why I teach Qigong for women in mostly a very yin way. And there's a really specific reason for this, and it has to do with um, helping to build and nurture uh, yin energy in the female body. Because yin energy for women is like the it's like the basis of our bodies and the basis of our health. And yin, it, it briefly is inward, downward, condensing, slower, it's darker, it's associated with liquid. Um, and yang, just to contrast that, is upward, outward, expansive, lighter, warmer, um, associated with fire. So when we build our yin energy in a slow and gentle way, which is a, uh, being slow and gentle is a more yin approach, it nourishes the energy of our body gradually and that has a very beneficial effect for women's bodies because to do it fast, and nothing wrong with fast, and there is a time for fast, However, the reason I teach my class slowly and building slowly is because a really forceful approach can burn out women's yin energy. And if you think about like yin is associated with water and yang is associated with fire, if you put fire and water together in healthy proportions, like lots of great things can happen, right? You can get warm water or boiling water that can make things, that can, you know, uh, Boiling water can power a, an engine, it can make things happen. Or if there's a lot of fire and then some water comes and it kind of mellows things out, but it doesn't totally put out the fire, it can be a really enjoyable place. However, if there's not a lot of water or a lot of yin to begin with, and there's a whole bunch of yang applied to that water or a lot of fire applied to that water, what happens is the heat of the fire eventually evaporates all of the yin and there's no more water left. So that's what can happen with women's yin energy if we approach building our yin from a very young perspective. If we go um, really strong and really super directed it can just be a bit too much and have a counter effect to what we intend. So we have lots of opportunities in modern life to do things in a very young way and I do not in any way intend to um, be dismissive of yang. It's very important. We need yin and yang but we need them in healthy balance. So since we have so many opportunities to be young and to do things in a young way, I like to offer my classes in a very yin way, not in the sense of we do nothing, but where we take our time to focus on building inwards and nourishing this energy very gently and um, developing our powers of observation and being able to be present with ourselves and with our energy and learning to recognize the sensations of the chi. So it's, it's um, a very different approach in some ways from uh, many other classes that I've experienced. Anyway, so that is why I like to teach my classes in a yin way so that we have that opportunity as a counterbalance to our young culture. So, see you in another video.